Welcome to Accu Web Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to transfer or copy files from your local computer to a Forex VPS. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's continue the tutorial. Here, we will use remote desktop connection to transfer or copy files from the local system to a Forex VPS. It has an inbuilt feature, that allows you to share any of the local drives on the host computer with the remote computer, without having to manually share specific folders or drives. This is far easier and can be more secure because folders are not being shared permanently, but only for the life of the remote desktop session. Let's see how to transfer or copy files from your local computer to a Forex VPS. Please note that here we have used Windows 10 as a demo. Click on the Windows Start button located on the taskbar. After then scroll down the screen. Select the Windows Accessories folder and click on it. Again scroll down the screen. You will see a remote desktop connection option. Click on it. Once you click on it, one window will be opened with the name Remote Desktop Connection. This window will show the current connection in the computer field. You can also select a previous session from the drop-down list. If you have not used the remote desktop connection to connect to your Forex VPS then, you need to enter your Forex VPS IP address with port number in the computer field manually. Here, we have entered this IP address with the port number as an example. It is our demo Forex VPS IP address. Click on the Show Options button located at the bottom left of the Remote Desktop Connection screen. Once you click on it, it will display the connection preference. Go to the Local Resources tab and click on it. Go to the Local Devices and Resources section and click on the More button. By clicking on it, one window will be open. Here, you have to choose the devices and resources that you want to use in the remote session. Since we want to transfer or copy files from the local computer to the Forex VPS, we will select the Drives option only. If you tick the drives, then all drives of your local system will be mapped to the remote desktop, and shared with the remote server or VPS. If you only want to share a specific drive which is safer, click the plus sign to the left side of the remote desktop screen. Once you click on it, it will expand the drives list. You can specifically tick which drives that need to be shared, including ROM drives, and USB flash drives that haven't been inserted yet. Drives that I plug in later. Here, we have selected local drive E only as an example. After then, click on the OK button to save it. Click on the Connect button to connect to your Forex VPS. Once you click on the Connect button, you will be asked if you trust the remote connection, and clicking on the Show Details button will show that it is trying to share your drives. If you are happy then tick the box Do not ask me again for connection to this computer. After then click on the Connect button. Once you click on it, one window will be opened with the name Windows Security. Here, you have to enter the credential of your Forex VPS. By default, it will take the username which you had used previously. Like, 
Previously we had used username as an administrator to log in into our Forex VPS. So, this time it took the same username. If you want to log in into your Forex VPS with another user then you need to click on the More Choices option. After then click on the Use a Different Account option. By clicking on it, you will get an option to enter a custom username in the Username field. In the Password field, you have to enter the password of the user which you have entered in the Username field. Here, we will use the Administrator username to log in into our Forex VPS. In the Password field, Enter the password of the user which you have entered in the username field. Here, we have used administrator user in the username so, we will enter the password of the administrator user. Click on the OK button to log in to the Windows VPS. Once you click on the OK button, you will see SSL certificate warning message. You have to ignore this warning message and tick on the box. Don't ask me again for connections to this computer. Click on the Yes button to connect to your VPS. This process may take a few seconds to complete. Congratulations! You are successfully connected or log in to your Forex VPS. Click on the Windows button located on the taskbar. Select the This PC option and click on it. Once you click on it, one window will be opened with the name This PC. You can see the shared drive under Devices and Drive section. As you know that, we had selected the E drive of our local system in the Remote Desktop Connections Local Resources tab. So we are able to see it here. Select and right click on it. Select the Open option to open the shared drive in your Forex VPS. By clicking on it, one new window will be opened with the drive name of the local system, which you have shared on the computer name of your local system. Select the file or folders you want to copy or transfer. Here, we have selected the folder AccuWeb Hosting as an example. Right-click on the selected folder. Select the Copy option and click on it. After that, select the drive or folder where you want to store the folder. Here, we have selected the Documents folder as an example. Right-click on the empty space. Select the Paste option and click on it. Once you click on it, the copying process will be started. This process may take several times to complete it. Generally, it depends on the number of files you have in the selected folders. Once it is completed, the copying window will be closed. You can see that the folder AccuWeb Hosting is successfully transferred to our demo Forex VPS. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to transfer or copy files from your local computer to Forex VPS. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on the subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.